Hi guys, Max from on Android.com, where we get whole on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to learn how to install the Galaxy S9 ROM on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so before I begin, using this method will erase everything. Whenever you root your phone or whenever you install a custom ROM like this, you have to wipe the data, which means you'll have to erase everything. So I do recommend backing up everything, all your personal photos and videos. Um, also, you can use um, Smart Switch. Just go into your app drawer, oops, and just type Smart Switch. There, Smart Switch. And if you go ahead and open up Smart Switch, you're gonna be able to um, back up all your stuff to your USB storage. You can use like an OTG cable and a flash drive, or you can just go ahead and use a micro SD card, which I did, and go ahead and back up everything, your apps and app data. Now, sometimes it does not back up all the app data on certain apps because of security. You're simply gonna lose everything, so make a backup before you, you start this. The first thing we are going to do here is we're gonna go into settings, go to about phone, and we're gonna go ahead and check the model number. Mine is an SMG 950FD. All right, I'm going to go ahead and check my website for the, all the models supported. Basically, you can install this on any Exynos model of Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. All the Korean models support it, all the international models are supported. All right, once you have double checked that your model is supported, go into software information and go ahead and hit the build number about five times until it says developer mode has been turned on. Hit the back button twice, and if you swipe down, you'll be able to see developer option menu. Go ahead and tap on that. And you should see an option for OEM unlock. I don't have it on this phone because I actually accidentally um, flagged it, but it is already turned on. That's why I don't have to worry about it. Um, I wish I could show you. All right, so, so there should be an option for OEM unlock. Now, starting with Oreo on Galaxy S8, if you just got your phone and you didn't have it for more than seven days, um, you may have to wait seven days to see the option. If you didn't have your phone for more than seven days and you don't see the option, just wait a few more days until it's seven days and you will see the option. So once you see the option, make sure you check it on. All right, so once you have OEM unlock option, um, make sure to turn it on and also turn off any factory lock or any kind of weird locks that you put on because that might lock up your phone, all right? Um, next, you're gonna go ahead and power off your phone and we're gonna put it into download mode. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down, volume down and the Bixby key, which is right next to it and the power button. So starting with volume down, Bixby and the power. Hold it down until you see a warning screen, let go of all the buttons. And you see the warning screen, hit the volume up key, and this will put it into download mode, all right? And that part I was talking about is basically right here. If your OEM unlock is turned on, it should say OEM lock off, all right? If you see that, you're good to go. All right, next, you're gonna go ahead and connect it to a USB Type-C cable to your Windows computer. Yes, you will need a Windows computer. If you don't have one, I'm sure your neighbor has one. I'm sure your best friend has one. Just go ask around or you could buy one on eBay for like a hundred bucks, like a Windows netbook running XP. Okay guys, next you'll need to download a bunch of files. Um, So go to galaxysaroot.com, go to tools section, go to Odin and drivers. You'll need to download Odin and Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus drivers. All right, download these. And all of the download links are at the bottom of the page. All right, and it'll say click here to download. Don't click on the ads, click here to download here, down here. All right, all the downloads for my sites are down here. Just click here to download and that will download it. All right, I've already downloaded this. I'm gonna cancel it. Um, go ahead and download Odin. Galaxy S8 SA Plus drivers, which is a Samsung USB drivers EXE, and go to tools, root tools. You'll also need to download um, Sam, no, not this one. You need, also need to download no verify OPT encrypt. This will allow you to um, decrypt the ROM, all right? It took me quite a while to figure this out. This ROM is not decrypted by default, so you actually have to flash this after you flash the ROM. Otherwise, you will not be able to flash the second part. All right, um, and also make sure you download RMM Bypass Mesa just in case. 
Um, just a general rule, when you flash a custom ROM on Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, flash no verify OPT encrypt and RMM bypass OEM unlock. These two files um, basically will decrypt it and also bypass the OEM unlock so you don't get in the OEM unlock jail, which just started with Oreo. Um, it doesn't hurt to flash it, even if your custom ROM supports it, but a lot of times some ROMs don't support it. Like this ROM did not support, um, it's not decrypted, so you actually have to decrypt it to flash the um, second file. All right, once you have those files, also you'll need to download SAX 23S9 custom ROM for S8, um, and also flash me earphone audio S8. These two files you have to install. This is the actual ROM file. This is actually a fix for the audio. Now, to flash the second file, you actually have to flash this. And then after booting, you have to flash this. But what I, what happened to me was that after flashing this, I booted into Twerp and my phone was encrypted, which means I couldn't flash this. So it took me quite a while to figure this out. So I have to flash this and then flash uh, no verify OPT encrypt, which breaks the encryption. And then you'll be able to later reboot and flash whatever file you want whether the fix or not. So the ROM file, the fix, also you need the Samsung USB driver, the, the drivers for Windows, and also you need RMM bypass, Odin, um, no verify encrypt. And also you need Twerp recovery. Let me go ahead and show you how to install that. I'm um, go to Twerp, go to devices, go to Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Um, again, you'll have to use this one or this one. So if you're using S8, go ahead and click on the S8 and go to, go, go to the download link go to primary Americas or Europe, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and download the latest version ending in img.tar. For me, it was the dreamlt.img.tar. And that's what I have downloaded here, lt.img.tar. All right, so you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The ROM file is the same exactly for S8 and S8 Plus because they're very, very compatible. All right, um, next what you wanna do is go ahead and double click on Odin zip file, extract all files. I already did it, so I'm not gonna do it again. Uh, and you'll get a folder called Odin3 underscore v3.13.1. Double click there. And go ahead and double click on the Odin EXE program. This will allow you to flash custom uh, recovery. And we're gonna go ahead and flash um, Torp recovery. Now you should see this blue highlighted box. If you don't see it, um, that means you don't have the drivers installed. Most likely, if this is the first time doing it, you don't have it installed. So go ahead and double click on Samsung USB driver. Um, say yes and install the driver. Once it's installed, go ahead and unplug the USB and plug it back in and you will see this. Um, if you still don't see it, this, try using a different USB port and also don't use a USB hub. That will um, sometimes, you know, sometimes interrupt. Um, so go to choose AP, go ahead and choose AP, go to your downloads folder and go ahead and choose your twerp um, blah blah img.tar. All right, this is for my Galaxy S8. If you have Galaxy S8 Plus, um, it'll be a slightly different file. All right, this is sort of important, so please watch carefully. If you mess up this step, you may have to unroot back with stock firmware and you'll have to wait seven days just because the way Galaxy S8 is, or you may have to, you know, do a bunch of stupid stuff that you don't want to do. So what you're going to do is go ahead and hold down volume up in the Bixby key. All right, and when the screen goes off, when it go, when it starts restart, you're gonna hold down the power button and hold it down for like four seconds. But you can go ahead and already hold down the volume up so you have a early start. Um, please watch this step several times if this is the first time you do it so you don't mess up. I'm gonna hold down the volume up. I'm gonna next hit start. And as soon as I hit start, I'm gonna hold down this button. And as soon as the screen goes off, and then I'm gonna hold that button. So watch it carefully, ready? So I'm holding down volume up, I'm hitting start, I'm gonna hit the big speed key, and as soon as the screen goes off, I'm gonna hold down the power button. All right, hold it for one, two, three, about three, four seconds, and you'll be in twerp, let go of all the buttons, you'll be in twerp recovery. Um, next, go ahead and choose keep read only. Now we're gonna erase everything on this phone because it's encrypted. Um, go to wipe and go to format data and say yes. This will erase everything on your phone. Now at this point, um, you did not make a backup of something important. Go, you know, reboot and make a backup and come back. I've already warned you, all right? So if you lose everything, it's your fault. All right, once that's done, hit the home button, hit the reboot button and hit recovery and put do not install. 
All right, it will reboot you into Torp Recovery. Go ahead and choose Keep Ready Only again. Ah. And next, go back to your computer. Go back to your Downloads folder. And you're going to go ahead and copy over um, these files. Flash me, uh, the fix, no verify encrypt, RMM state bypass, and SAX, a custom ROM. Do a right click copy. Also, you could have copied it onto the uh, micro SD card, which I already did here. All right, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four files. All right, you can copy it to your internal storage, or like I did, you can copy it over to micro SD card. All right. So once that's been copied over, um, you do not need your um, USB cable. Go ahead and unplug it. Next, you're going to go ahead and choose wipe and do a factory reset. Hit the home button. Go to install. If you've copied over your files to the internal storage, it'll show up here. If you have it on external storage, like micro SD, like I do, choose micro SD. And next, we're going to choose um, Sax ROM 23. Flash it. All right, once that's done, go ahead and hit the home button, install, and we're gonna go ahead and choose no verify OPT encrypt. This will get rid of the encryption. All right, once that's done, just to make sure um, the encryption is gone, go ahead and choose reboot, recovery, do not install, and you should boot back without the option to keep it read only, and you should be able to keep flashing new files. And boom shakalaka. Now we're good. We're gonna go ahead and install. Um, we're gonna go ahead and install RMM bypass Mesa. Um, this is to make sure OEM unlock jail doesn't come back, which is sort of important. I would do this step on every uh, ROM install. The RMM by bypass, no verify uh, encrypt. I would just keep it in your micro SD card so you always have it. Um, that's pretty much it. Reboot the last file. Uh, we are going to install after it boots and we sign in. All right, uh, once in the welcome screen, you can go ahead and sign in. All right, once signed in, go ahead and hold down the power button and you're gonna choose recovery. And we're gonna flash the last um, audio fix. All right, and reboot, and you should have complete S9 ROM running on your Galaxy S9. All right, go ahead and choose install. Ah. And you're gonna do flash me earphone audio S8. Flash the file and reboot system, do not install, and you're pretty much golden. You should have S9 working flawless on your Galaxy S8. And boom shakalaka. Hi, everything should be working. You can go ahead and check Majisk Manager. Uh, make sure Majisk is working. You can do a safety check. Um, this will do a safety check, should pass, should be all good to go, and you should be on full um, Galaxy S9 ROM on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. And thanks for watching this video, you should now have a Galaxy S9 software running fully on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. If you end up using this ROM as daily driver, don't forget to donate to the original developer, XDA user, SAC23. I'll have a donation link in the description below. Please hit the thumbs up, and as always, stay whole on Android. Click here to subscribe.